right, let's see what our inspiration, I'm like turned like this, like, hey, what's up? That was not cute. I look like a little creature, like trying to, like, whatever, hi. Uh, so daily inspiration before we get into it, if you would like an angelic reading session with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. If you would like a live session, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. And if you could, try not to use the submission form that's on my website. People are doing that, and that is for people who are getting a standard reading. You feel me? So that's probably, it's going to confuse things, I guess. <laughs> Just email me. It's separate. We'll figure it out. And always check out the description box because I have lives going on on the Bright platform all the time. Okay, listen, I paused here because... <laughs> We just, I'm, you know, I batch film these, obviously, because they're two-minute readings or whatever. So I'm not going to do makeup for one two-minute reading. And we've had similar cards to this one. Change your life. It's Archangel Shamuel again. Reach your potential. Something that seems bad is actually really good and really helpful. All right? A sudden revelation that offers freedom. It's that. That sudden revelation. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change bring. So this is a freeing up. It's a freeing up. If, I don't know why I'm getting like the image or the example of somebody who lives in New York City and housing costs keep going up and, you know, all the other things that shan't be named. <laughs> is shan't a word? Um, anyway, uh, you know, you might realize or you might hear like so-and-so needs a roommate. Are you willing to let them come and share your apartment? And maybe you get along with this person very, very well. There's a solution. And now you don't even feel so lonely anymore. You have a, you know, a really great friend or whatever who's now there. Now, that's not most people's roommate situation, I know. So if you're sitting there laughing, listen, it's just, a, <laughs> it's just an example, okay? Um, but definitely, it's disconnecting from something toxic. That's what it comes down to. You're disconnecting from something toxic whether it's worry uh yeah that's what it is sorry they're come I just hit my elbow whatever um it's fine I lived it's fine um they're coming in here and saying it's it's that kind of um I'm not going to give in to a fabricated fear now I don't mean where you look at something and you feel out in your gut and you go you know what I determined that that's not true and therefore you treat it like that's the truth and you actually don't have any facts. You have no idea what's going on. It's not that. We're not encouraging that. But I'm talking like credit scores. That's, that's a perfect example. Oh, your credit score is going to be this, that, and the other. If you do this. You know your credit score? So I've heard. Not an expert, but so I've heard. The slightest little thing can jumble it around. So why are you, why are you worried? Be a good human being. Focus on that. Okay, let everything else fall into place. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Um, making better choices that are in alignment with being a good human. Right? Have some compassion for people. Um, have some empathy. Don't allow yourself to get taken advantage of. But there's something coming up that's like, for some of you it might be a forced turn, but don't wallow. Don't wallow. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Now, if you're going through like something major and you're, you know, you need some support, that's different. I'm talking about, my boss yelled at me today. I think I'm, you know, I think I hate this place. Well, most people would if their boss yelled at them, <laughs> right? You're having a bad day or maybe you're getting signals that it's not uh, time for you to be in that career anymore. Or if you're not feeling safe, if you go into any kind of environment and you feel like, you know, you're not... God, I'm trying to be careful here, that something could happen to you, like whether it's a workplace or you're going on dating apps. You know what I'm saying? Take precautions, but don't be paranoid kind of thing. And this is also standing up for your rights. I literally, this fireplace behind me, started coming on by itself. So there's probably a shorted wire. I shut off the gas. I call maintenance. They ignore me. I'm not sure how dangerous this can be, but I'm in an apartment complex. Probably not great, <laughs> right? So I call again, and they started treating me like I was petty and paranoid. And just to appease me, they sent the groundskeeper with no tools and no paperwork to come in and poke at the wires and go, eh, I have to give it to somebody else. Never heard from them again. 
And not only that, I got into it kind of with the management because they were like, they have done too much. They've done excessive disturbance of the peace. They've like violation of the lease, like the whole thing. But this is like potentially dangerous, I thought. Again, the gas is off. We're not going to blow up here. Okay. Like you wouldn't even see this if I had blowed up. But like, <laughs> but it was just the reason why I'm bringing that up. It was just the absolute absence of a conscience, the way they were behaving. And what that does to someone who's not easily fooled or who's not going to play into the grooming or the gaslighting, the manipulation, they started getting more and more riled. So they try to make your life more difficult. There's a lot of that kind of thing going on. And more often than not, that's how an enabler is born because they don't want any conflict, right? But we're starting to stand up and say, no, we're not. I, and I definitely told them, I'm not putting up with this. I started looking into my rights. I know I always have like a thing with, <laughs> with housing, but maybe it's to learn to stand up for myself. Cause I know when I started doing this stuff, I was, oof, I tiptoed around my neighbors. I tiptoed around management. I did all the things not doing it now because it's ridiculous and they don't, they're on a power trip and they shouldn't be. But this is that kind of thing where, you know, you're going to start maybe saying no to your boss and saying, no, <laughs> I I'm taking these days off. I have not had a day off in three months. And I want to go to my daughter's recital. Leave me alone, right? That's how you're going to change your life, by changing what you accept. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.